Okay, so now we get to more complicated examples and you'll actually notice that it's not that difficult. Again, we just break it down into step by step. Um, a step by step solution, I mean. Okay, so we of course draw our cost diagram. We are asked to simplify the following trigonometric ratios without the use of a calculator by first writing the angles in positive um, as positive and acute. So this is cost. Okay, we're working with negative angles as you'll notice here, most of them, and uh, which means we're going to number them clockwise negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, negative 270 degrees. Okay, and uh, I think that's good enough. Negative 300 degrees, where would that be? Okay, so it's more than 270, or oh, actually not more, smaller than 270, and yet it's not, it's larger than negative 360. So it's somewhere in here. Okay. Uh, we know it is 270, that angle must be 30 degrees, so this angle must be 60 degrees. Okay, so this is the angle 300, and plus another 60 or minus another 60 will take me to negative 360. So the angle I make with the x-axis is 60 degrees. I am in the first quadrant, and all of my ratios are positive there. So sine of negative 300 is the same as sine of 60 degrees. Okay, now we need our other diagram. Okay, that's the diagram where we have a quarter of a circle. We have 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees on a quarter of a circle with a radius of 2. So all of these have 2, 2, 2. Okay, we start numbering here, where we have this height is 2, uh, actually, yeah, but x is square root of 0. This is square root of 1, square root of 2, square root of 3, and that final one is square root of 4. Okay, and then 0 is the y value for this point, and for that point it's square root of 1, this point square root of 2, that point square root of 3, and the last one square root of 4, which is 2. Okay, um, and now we want sine of 60, this is 30, 45, and 60. Sine of 60, sine we remember is y over r, this is y over r, r is 2, and y for 60 is square root 3. So this answer is square root 3 over 2. Okay, now we have tan squared of negative 210. So n negative 180 and another 30 degrees would be 210. So this is 30 degrees. Okay, negative 210 would be in the second quadrant where sine is positive so tan will be negative. However, we are squaring. So we have, this is actually tan of 30 degrees, which is negative, but it's being squared. Okay, so what is negative tan of 30 degrees? There's 30 degrees. Tan is y over x, so we have square root 1 over square root 3, square root 1 over square root 3, with a negative that is being squared, and that gives me 1 over 3. Okay, the last one. Cos of 0 degrees, I can immediately go read off cos. Here's the 0 degrees. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, or x over r. x is square root of 4, which is 2. r is 2. So cos of 0 is equal to 1. How about cos of negative 45? Negative 45 is in this direction. It's an acute angle in the fourth quadrant. Cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. So cos of negative 45 is the same as cos of 45 degrees. Okay, and sine of 210. 
negative 210, we already did 10 of negative 210. That was 10 of 30 degrees. Now there was the angle I was making in the second quadrant with the x-axis was 30 degrees. Forget about the negative, we don't, we're not talking about the negative angle, we're talking about the angle it makes with the x-axis. That's still a positive angle. It's 30 degrees that 210 makes with the x-axis which means in the second quadrant where sine is positive this stays a positive sine of 30 degrees. Okay, Now we can go and substitute. The first one we already got as 1. The second one cos of 45. Cos is as we said x over r so that is square root 2 over 2. Sine of 30, I hope you know sine of 30 by now that's just a half. Why is it a half? Because sine of 30 is y over r. 30y is square root of 1, which is just 1, and r, which is 2. And if we simplify this, we get square root 2 over 4. And that's my answer. Hope you found this as enlightening as I found it enjoyable. See you later.